Innovative Minds. Welcome to another wonderful edition of our interview on Temi Balogun Motivates. My name is Temi Balogun. Today, we're talking digital marketing and PR. We are in a digital age where brands are influenced by social media and internet. This led to the increase of digital marketers. PR has always existed, but now most people combine the two as a career. Today, we have with us a prominent digital marketer and a PR practitioner who is going to be sharing with us secrets to a successful PR and digital marketing career. Before I tell you who our motivator is today, let's see his vibe. Our motivator on this edition is Pamilary Adegoke, the founder of the Pamilary Media. He is a prominent PR practitioner managing entertainment brands like Adekule Gold, Ricardo Banks and the likes. He started PR and digital marketing out of passion and he is so far making waves in his chosen career. Now, let's learn from this creative mind. Creative minds, now that you've read a short bio of our motivator, let's welcome Mr. Pamilary Adeguke. Welcome. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I'm very fine. Okay. You know, one of those guys that um, when I go through his comments on Instagram or social media, people say, let's take this guy's phone. This is one of them. Because <laughs> he is one person that makes people, would I say, it makes people laugh. Apart from laugh, it makes it, it takes them outside the uh, the normal school like okay there's a there's a normal occurrence that has happened he has a way of just coining it around to make people be like believe like what is this what is this saying so welcome i'm very very happy to see you I'm, Mr. I'm, I'm to be here, Mr. okay cool so we're going to start with you okay though you are going to be taking us through secrets to a successful pr and digital marketing career but let's start with you first so tell us who Bamilari Adeguke is. Um, Bamilari Adeguke is a small boy as you can see. Um, he just some years above 20. Okay. Um, Bio engineer, so digital PR, digital marketer of school PR. Okay. Um, from a family of six. Okay. From a good business background. Okay. My parents are pastor, evangelist, and prayer warrior. Yeah. Wow. So, um, it's not easy growing up, it's fun and all, but diverting from engineering to PR, it's not a lot of it, especially that my parents never wanted me to do. Okay. After spending money on me to, to study engineering, okay. that I woke up to my dad and said, Dad, this is not what I want to do, I want to go into entertainment and media. And he was like, show me a picture. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> like, show me it's not in the lorry. You get it, but the grace of God, and thanks to me, my mom, she's so understanding, she has to talk sense to my dad, like, this guy, this guy is going to let him push his own personal career. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, here we are now, and we're doing good for ourselves. Okay. Even though we are not where we want to be yet, okay. we are trying. Okay, yeah, that's good. So, uh, you switched from marine engineering to PR. Yeah. What was the reason? What inspired that? Okay. You know, studying engineering because of my parents. Mm -hmm. My dad wanted that engineer as a son, so I had to do it for him. Then switch it to after school, it took me courage to approach my dad. But the but the good but the told me, and <laughs> like what you asked me to do, that's not what I want to do. Yes. So my mom is very understanding. Yes. She spoke sense to my dad. Uh, so I started. My dad fought with me for like six months. We not talking sense. Then I started. I attended conferences and all. Uh, I met a couple of people. I started attending conf digital conferences. Then I attended Nigeria entertainment. Nigeria Tema Conference Neck, okay. Neck like organized by the Net NG, Ayana Nikoli Samo. And I met Ayana there, and we had a discussion and he said, well, He likes me, I should come, I should come to his office. Then I visited his office about two weeks after that time. I said, He likes, he said, For an interview. Okay. But guess what the interview was like? Yeah. He was just asking me about my background, okay, what do you like, do you drink, do you smoke, and that was it. Okay. Then I was back to his office. Well, then I started as an intern for six months. I learned I learned a whole lot on the job. I learned on the job basically because I had zero knowledge about this thing. 
So I learned to I studied I read books on that. I, I watched videos. I attended a life courses and a whole of sleepless nights just to have a very this day. I had courses I can talk to. I, I number one, I had no shame to approach people. I can approach anybody. Yeah, so so that, that there is the aspect of confidence. Yes. So I approach people who taught me this, taught me that, and started to, you know, you know, I have a lot of courses in life. Mm. A lot of courses, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Wow. Lots. So it involves so, knowledge as well. It involves knowledge. So that, the videos, I at least did them so that it's affected me from then to now. Into, mm-hmm. I'll see for two hours and I'm awake. I'm, I'm, I'm awake. Mm-hmm. So I have to be on my phone. Basically, that's why I'm always online on my phone. Okay. I'm checking out this, I'm checking out that. Someone is saying this, I'm trying to twist what the person said. It's just something else that I'm doing. Yeah, that's why they want to connect your phone. I still have a comment like, we need to connect this guy's phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Okay, so to you now, in your in your words, what does PR mean and what does digital market mean? Like being a PR practitioner and being a digital market, in your own words, what would you define? Um, I would call a PR person, PR person should be the best friend to the brand. Mm-hmm. That should be the brand, the brand best, best friend because if anything goes wrong, goes wrong, wrong with the brand, it's the PR person that is responsible for the mm-hmm. issue. Okay. So if I'm um, having price management right now, if I'm a um, company, if I'm having price management, it's a PR person that will run data center mm. to protect the brand's image. So the PR person should be a brand, brand's mm. best friend. Mm. You get At the company, you should know the in and out and what's happening. If a company is to take any decision, a PR person must know about it because if it goes wrong or it goes out, that's coming back to the mm. So it should be a brand's best friend. And in digital data, it's you have to work in that without with PR person because mm-hmm. if I'm putting out the content, you have, you have to be promoting this content for me. Yeah. You have to do the right SEO, you have to use the right yeah. uh, search engine and dress everything to yeah. help you optimize what I am pushing. So they are, you can't do it. Yeah, I think that's that. why most people do it together. Yeah, they do it together. I will tell you I'm a PR person and a digital marketer. So mm-hmm. I, will, I don't have to be run after my colleague okay. that's in South Africa mm-hmm. or is having a good time to survive and I'm sort of, yeah, I have to do this right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I can easily my brand and I can easily do this. I, I know what I want to do, what I want to achieve, and I can easily put it to it together at once. Okay, thank you for that. Before we go on, let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Great minds, we still have with us Pamilary Adekuke. So let's continue. <laughs> so let's continue. Um, now you're a digital marketer. Okay. There's something I observe about your content, especially on Twitter. Okay, yeah, okay, something happens, something like um, reality does happen, then there's a way you just tweak it around <laughs> and um. We get people talking, but there was something about um, this thing that has to tell that you had. Okay, the this is it, Faust. So you're not saying they are complaining that the Jap people are dancing shaka, 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 that they should go and check. Um, and give them some. I was <laughs> like, and people were like, <laughs> like, I was like, look at, is this? Would you say this is one of the tips of a digital marketer? Um. Basically, no. I'll say it's one of the things of, um, of things of being a PR person. You have to do three stories okay. and bring out some other angles aside from what people are saying. It's not about thinking about outside the box. Think inside that same box, but from another corner. Okay. From another corner of the box. You have uh, Murik said um, Muslims, I mean, Jap people are sharp, sharp point inside the video. <laughs> and I was like, guy, out of all the problems in Nigeria, is that the real thing right now? Have you checked this site and the rest of it? Then you have more about there. Like, there are a lot of things you have to talk about. After that, I posted something like that. What if this is one of the strategies to yeah. distract us? Yes, yes, yes. I think I saw that. Too. Because everything is possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 so it's basically that. And I, I so there was something I did with the video when you got Shomaika. Okay. I was like, I, okay. 
it's so much. Oh, everybody can't show us. About a week after, I want two weeks after, then I asked him, I'm not going to say that. I said, but it's in the past. I don't know you are. I saw no. it. <laughs> I, just, I just leave these guys in the room. I did something with Tiwa Savage. I did something with Miss Kill. Like, That's the trend there, though. Like you said, eh, has anybody seen Tiwa driving in the past? Like, <laughs> so basically, it's about you understanding these people and knowing what you want them and when you want it. Okay. We cannot be, we can't all be serious at the same time. Mm-hmm. When we are trying to, when we are aware of results, just for something to calm them down, mm-hmm. and they will be like, oh, then I can go back to work. Okay. But just a little bit of distraction, and then we'll do it. Right. Okay, cool. Okay, that's cool. So, you are the PR to Adekunay Food, one of the big entertainment brands there. And we um, the brands, um, Latin Valley, the major guy that you said. So, how did you get yourself? How did, how did you win them over? What, what were the strategies you would say you used to win them over? Or whatever, I don't know. If you <laughs> ask me, I would say there's no strategy anywhere. So, when people ask me, I was just sick, I would just laugh, I would like. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I think it's just um, the approach okay. and the relationship with people. Some people just go for the money, some people work for the money. I work, um, I don't do everything for money. I want us to have a very good relationship. Let's be able to be yeah, with Sarah like friends, like family, like brothers. I I don't play with like my brother. If you if you notice my bed, he, he called me son. Mm, yeah. So it's like you have to it's not always about the money. Okay, you said something about what do you call English again? If you mean do something Beautiful. okay, maybe what well, like this what well, I I um, I did to fulfill. You get so it's not always about the money. Why not tell this? Why not approach this person like that? Yeah, I think you can do this. I can do this for you. I can do that. And when you ask for the price, that like, how much we charge him? Why not just say like, let's see how far we can go first. Mm. Let's work as brothers, as family. Then we can talk about the money. You get so do stuff for the passion you have for it, and not just always. Not always um, because of the money. Do it because you love doing this thing. Do it because I'm um, try to impress this person without being paid. If you impress me without me paying you, of course, of course I won't spoil it for my next project. I'm like, ah, please let me call this Mr. Tanji. Now, I won't pay you for this. I want something from you. you get so do it because of relationship. Try and create, create relationship and make the brand your family. Okay, fine. Yeah. I understand that and I, I, I accept it. But when you're doing this for almost everybody, where would the money Not for everybody. If I can easily walk up to you and tell you, hey, I'm Pamir, I'm Pierre Salikuli Gul, and I work with Salikuli Gul, and I work with Gary Banks. That those are names already. I don't have to impress you anymore. Mm. I've impressed a lot of people. You've seen what they are up to. Okay. I will stop this money from you. This is what I will do for your brand, and this is how much I charge. Okay, so there's the aspect of selecting the people not to, not to, not to collect money from immediately. It's not about, if, if, even if you collect money. You may not collect your actual price, but it's so that this person will be like, wow. Uh, give a space for a wow. Okay. You get mm-hmm. so if I so if I approach you next or I approach another time, I'll be like, okay, I work with this person, I work this is my portfolio. So you'll be like, okay, I'll, what's your Instagram handle? Or what's your name on LinkedIn and then check me out. Then you see, oh he has really worked with products like this. Then you'll be the start to also work with me. And you can, yeah. okay. Thanks for that. So, uh, so far in the journey, what are the three things? Well, wait, would I say things or strategy that you would um, tell PR or digital marketers out there to practice, to put in your practice? Three things that you discovered in your journey so far. Number well, one, um, I'll talk from experience. Um, I have to be me to all these people. You have to understand them, what they want. If I'm too serious, I will lose this goal. So that's that I have I'm always a little bit of madness. Okay. So I'm always I'm stu- being stupid for fun. Okay. But I'm getting this good happiness and trust. Okay. So if they see any bad thing about me tomorrow, without I me mean, even asking them to be the, we all defend me because you know, you know, you have never done stuff like this before. You know what is happening of doing. You get to win their trust. Okay. Set a goal, know your mood that like, you have to discover your mojo. Understand these people you are dealing with and flow along with them. Give them what they want, when they want it, and how they want it. Okay. You said, what does that mean? Like, understand 
um, oh God, I'll, I'm not going to write this for much. Okay. Don't, don't people start thinking, okay. like, know your what, okay. basically. Okay. okay. But I start what you really want, what you are out, what you are capable of doing, basically. Yeah. Okay. What you are capable of doing. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yes. And how has it been with them so far? Awesome. Amazing. They are all amazing people. I work with fantastic people. I didn't put them go to my girl. That's best. You can have not even seen anything from that guy. That is one of the oldest things out there, man. I was saying, I'm bringing home Grammys for me. It must not be for me. You can get there. You can get there. there. Cool. So let's go a bit light. I didn't play good. It's the oldest thing. Of course. About 30 hours. So, yeah. (laughs) One of. I think I want you to sing from the About 30 hours. One, one of the best track. My favorite track on the album is Remember. Remember. Yeah, and because I don't know why, but I think it's just talking about me. You are when you trust people so much and they treat you like trash, okay. or when you need people's help and they treat you like trash, then today now your turn, tomorrow on my own. Watch out for me again. I don't wake up without you, show God. Mache, for you, dear me, oh, I'm all gone in you. Watch out for me. I hope say you will remember. I hope say you will remember me. I hope say you will remember. Yeah, that's the yeah, idea. Yeah. Mm. What about the chorus? The chorus. Um, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually, I love, I love the words of the. I think, like what he said, he said that it's based on experience so far. Yeah, yeah. So this part, yes, he said he's speaking to you, but I think he's also part of what he has also um, Yeah, basically, probably he trusted so much some people and they fuck him up or they think they can cancel us without them and they were like, you know, some people tell you, they were going to tell me, I'm a woman, 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 i am Surely, yeah, I think most of us go through that thing, especially when you're not going this. When you're not going this, it's worse. Even those born with this, it's and are trying to stay up that lane and want to live a life of their own mm. to experience stuff like that. Mm. And if I don't tell you, if I'm, when I'm not the Jacob, I'll tell you, my dad is a total dollar. You get it. Once you're the Jacob, you're the total dollar. You get it. So that's basically. <laughs> oh, that is actually very nice. Okay, so for brands that, because because of the digital hit that we have now, everybody wants their, their brands to go viral online and all. For entrepreneurs that are just uh, starting, that they don't have money to pay to um, PR or digital marketers to help them push their brand, what what are your advices to them on how they can, um, what they should do to put their brand out there? Um, number one, um, you have to be very creative. Even with, with the little token you have, get a good graphic designer. Design your brand, yeah, like your stuff in a very good way. Yeah. The packaging must be lit. Take amazing pictures. You can use your iPhone to take pictures and write it. Or get a very good phone to take pictures. If I can't afford the camera man, do get you can if you can't get the graphic designer, go on to Cam- go online, camera.com, you can do design anything there. They are they have amazing templates. Mm-hmm. It's free. Mm-hmm. Download it, then post. With one dollar, two dollar, you can promote on Facebook. Can promote on Instagram, make your pages um, um, a business page, spend little token on it, and it will be surprised how far you put yourself to you go. You have to have a million, you have to have one token with your little token, one thousand, two thousand, you can promote the stuff on Facebook. Then your target audience can delete. If you are selling Gary, Yell, Lagos, you must have a target in Canon. I just want to get it out there. Target your target, um, have your target audience, you are emotion, target people in VI, target people in motion, target people in motion. Target who that will be around your environment. Mm-hmm. Also, target me with the age group. You want to be selling that you cannot be targeting 16 years old at the top of Target from 21 and to, to 65 million. Have, just get it right from the start. You don't have to have a million to promote. With your least 1,000, your business will be found. Okay. Cool. Okay, so the, well, there's an aspect of consistency too, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, for example, yeah, but me, if okay, I'm a motivational speaker. Mm. Then I'm I'm having this talk with the Pamela or successful some something with the Pamela mm. on Mondays. Then I, I post every Monday, every Monday, every Monday. Then I stopped. Mm. Already you have fans already that come to watch these things. Mm. If I'm your fan, for example, 
I'm like, oh my god, right on past. So I, every Monday, 6 p.m., I'm live with you. Oh my god, the Lord is ministry to me, and I'm moving, I'm feeling everything. Mm. They now stop. Is that you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> you now tell me that you're coming on Wednesdays. For what? You don't know if I go, maybe it's if, for example, you're Pastor A, maybe it's Pastor B, I listen to on Wednesdays. Should I cast Pastor B because I was listening to you? So you must be consistent. It's like, sorry, consistent. Yeah. You go out to a battery, it's not a language. Mm. So you must be consistent, basically. Yeah. You know, not to lose these people you're trying to, you're trying to get out here. Mm. So that matters a whole lot. So with all you said and consistency, it will help a brand. It will, it will help a brand. It will help a brand. It will do a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> We still are with us, the funny family, Rihadegoke. He has been taking us through the secrets to a successful PR and digital marketing career. Okay, so now. Wait, I think I have to say me true for everything. No. Yes, this is my intro for everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's fine, we are fine with it. Okay, so now. The digital marketing career that you are doing and the PR. What's the um, challenges that you face so far in the journey? Number one, clients. Clients. Trust. Client trust. Yeah. Because um, if I'm client A and you want to work with me, at first I will not be so good with you, especially if you are pushing. Or like when it's the client that's running after you. Okay. But you know, after the client, yes, to be we are not ready for you. We have something we have. We have your mind. All these kind of pants that we are used to. Oh, sorry. Um, you work on our next project. That's the five years time, basically. <laughs> and all those things. You get and getting clients is one of the hardest things. Mm -hmm. Especially when you are just upcoming. Yeah. You know, people don't tend to trust you and trust your judgment. Mm -hmm. They don't tend to believe in you. You have something. Um, they just have something. You have trust issues. So they don't tend to believe you and they don't think they don't tend to think you are capable of handling their brand. But when you've done when you have proofs, they can go take our life. <laughs> yes, they can handle about it. Yeah, yeah. When you're just coming up and you're just trying to build a name and a career for yourself, who do tend to trust you so much and the rest of the year. So when you face that how did you overcome it? Just that's to keep doing it. Do the that way now. Just be doing more of that. Okay, okay. So, to what extent does a um, relationship, elder relationship with uh, people, to what extent does it determine the success in this line of career? It's, it's, it goes a long way because you have to keep meeting people, you have to keep building relationships. You, get, you don't know who knows who. Okay. You don't know if my next million is coming from your friend that you told about me. Mm. So what if I'm not fighting with you? Mm. There won't be that chance for you to tell your friend that oh you know someone guy somewhere that can help you do this thing. So you have to build a great relationship with people. Build trust relationships. Let me trust you, let me believe in you and build relationships like the only ones. Mm. Because you know who is who. If you can just see a short man walking a man walking around with shorts, mm. but you don't know if that's whatever that's being. Mm. And maybe that's who you meet that will give you a picture. Mm. So you have to be approachable. You have to know how to talk. Okay. Because most people don't know how to talk. Sorry. We like that thing. We are so distressed in this country. So you, know, you have to know how to talk and you have to basically have this relationship. Okay. Okay, that's good. So as uh, yourself as an individual. Can you share with us um, some principles that you work with that you feel has helped you so far in life? Maybe like two or three of them. Um, number one, I'm just being myself. I do anything that makes me happy. Okay. So if I want to do this, I go for it. I'm, I can be very shy sometimes, but when I want to do something, I go for it. No matter what people think or what people say, I don't know what people say get to me. Mm -hmm. So I tell some, um, I, uh, sometimes people, like, what people think about is not your business. 
just be you, do whatever makes you at that point in time and just go for it. Okay. That's it. That just things are working for me. Okay. Yeah, so I want this, I go for it. I feel like it is something I go for it. Oh, I want to meet this person. I will meet that person. No matter who the person is, I will meet the person. So that's it. Okay. So how do you relax? <sighs> I love water. Okay. So I love I love going to like my job. Okay. Oh, I love traveling. Okay. I love traveling. Yeah. I'll be like I'm losing my phone. Then I sleep off. Okay. But when I want to be away from work, I go to pictures and pictures. Okay. 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 That was where you, you and I didn't go short one this thing about the Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> I saw it. I said, I was like, what's all this now? What's all this? How are you doing this? Okay, so what's your, um, to people who are aspiring, even those that are already practicing PR and also digital marketing, can you just give them your words? Um, never stop being you. Don't allow other people's success to intimidate you. Mm. Yeah. If you think Mr. A is successful in what he's doing, don't allow that way down. Just keep doing like oh, Mr. A, that's what I can do better. Yeah, keep striving for success. Let's so that be your priority. Let's let greatness be your school for thought. So when people approach me and tell you I want to be like you when I grow up, I know. Be yourself, just be be greater. Or strive that oh I'm there, oh you are doing well, but I want to be good at that. Yeah, so if you want to be like me when you grow up, I don't want to be like you yeah, right now. I will, I'm also aspiring to be someone with someone better. Yeah. You get to strive for greatness. Don't allow people to intimidate you. So that should be your guide word. Go for it. If you, you have something you want to go for, go for it. And don't allow what what people are saying is not your business. Okay. Don't allow this stuff to happen. So as a digital marketer, if you are yourself, and as a PR person, you are yourself. It takes you a long way. A very long way. Okay. What about you? Based on what you've been hearing about you so far, especially well, apart from the fact of being lazy, I heard something about uh, a lot of kids are into drugs and all that. I don't know how true that is. Based on that, can you just give us an advice? Number well, one, I I don't like it. I mean, it's a priority to use privacy. I am me is if you're happy doing it, continue. I don't know. No, but but, but um, stay no to drugs. Mm. Don't um. Use drugs. Okay. Don't um. I don't for the word. Don't, don't abuse drugs. Um. If you need to take anything, consult a doctor. Okay. If you think you are not alright, don't um prescribe drugs for yourself. Okay. See a doctor. And if you think you are finding out those things are not coming, talk to people. Don't be scared to talk to people. It goes a long way. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, uh, we've come to the end of this edition. Of Temi Balogun Motivates interview. Join us next time when we bring to you another wonderful motivator to take us through another insightful topic. Till then, stay motivated.